For more than two decades, I have had the opportunity and privilege of serving as the president of this very special institution. Today, I have called this gathering to inform you that I have decided to retire, effective June 30th. 2019. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> I would like to I would like to thank the dedicated and devoted members of the Board of Trustees for their leadership and service to this university. I'm especially thankful that this Board of Trustees has been a true partner throughout my tenure as President. When I took on the challenge of leading my alma mater in June of 1994, very few people knew very much about Clapham University, one of America's best kept secrets at the time. But I knew that Claflin had all the basic ingredients that are the hallmarks of a great institution. The university founded as a degree-granting university almost 150 years ago had history and tradition as the oldest historically black college or university in the state of South Carolina. The university had a strong value system, steeped in fairness, diversity, and inclusion. And its founders had decreed in 1869 that no instructor in said university shall ever be required by the trustees to have any particular complexion or to possess any particular religious opinion as a test of office. And no student shall be refused admission to or deny any of the privileges, honors, or degrees on account of race, complexion, or religious opinions. Thus, Clapham became the first integrated and first co-ed co institution of higher education in the state of South Carolina. So when I accepted the position in 1994, I stated the following. I stated that my vision for Claflin College is that of a premier liberal arts institution in the southeastern region, an institution of the highest quality that demonstrates its commitment to excellence in carrying out her mission by being and doing the best she can with what she has and by continuously striving for better. I spoke about wanting to make the campus of Claflin University a place of great pride. Uh, and at some point, maybe two or three years after our tenure here, we decided to take the pride beyond the campus of Claflin University into our surrounding community. I believe that we should always be good neighbors, and in doing so, of course, we went on to Golf Avenue, as you might know, which was a totally different place uh, at that time, uh, with boarded up houses, and it was, it was the neighborhood dump, if you will. Uh, so we cleaned it up, we purchased property, we even helped build low-income homes uh, for families who now live in some of those homes. And as you know, uh, even our own campus has expanded down Gulf Avenue uh, as well. So our commitment is to being a, a, a good neighbor and uh, what we do for Claflin University, we also try to share and do for our community. We are about making the community of Orangeburg a better place to live, improving the quality of life for all.